Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. Today is the release day of the Robosaurs Compsognathus pack. We're really excited to know what you guys think of these. We've put a lot of effort into these and it's the first time we're releasing some Robosaurs that are made in the USA. This time they're made by Bradley. They are designed by myself. All the prototypes are made by me. So if you're worried about any uh, inconsistencies or quality, do not worry. Bradley is amazing. And uh, we've had plenty of backwards and forwards on getting these things right for you guys. And he's just as much as a perfectionist as I am. So let's delve into the 3D models that I sculpted. So these are the 3D models that I made. I based them on the dinosaur style guide that Dino Mike Mac and I have released. And I designed them to be in scale with your 118th figures or 3 and 3 quarter inch human figures. I have made three different poses and I tried to detail them as much as possible. You might notice the details a bit harsher than usual, but that's because these things are so tiny that when you print them, the detail gets compressed. And if I was to detail them like bigger figures, then all that detail would be lost. They're divided into three segments, one leg, two legs, and the body. The body will be made of rubber and the legs out of resin. Here's a little turntable. Let's have a look at what Bradley has made for us. And this is the Rubber Saws Comsognathus pack, designed by myself and made by Bradley in the USA. This is the first time ever that I'm collaborating with someone making Rubber Saws, and this is going to be the future from now on. I'm not going to be the only one making them, but they'll all be designed by myself. They all need to pass some really rigorous quality checks, as I'm very particular to what uh, you guys end up getting. And so far, Bradley has been amazing. So if we look at the box, you can see the lovely picture taken by Asina's Born with the little compies there. And as you can see on the top left, there is a little cage there as well. It says handmade in the USA, not suitable for children for adult collectors only. Designed by myself, printed, assembled and painted by Bradley and photography by Graham as seen as born. So it comes in this cardboard box, it's quite strong and it has this lovely printed label on it. If we open it up, we're greeted by some um, foamy material to protect the insides. And here we go. The compies come in a little baggie and here is the cage. Let's have a look at the cage first. The cage does come in two parts, the lid and the cage itself with the bars and everything. The compies do fit inside and I'll show you how to fit them in later. The lid fits up on here like that and it's very nicely painted by Bradley with lots of weathering. Also on the bottom you can see the logos of both Sora and me and the rubber saws as well. The fact that there's Sora's logo there is because she has actually designed this cage. We decided to add it as a little extra in the pack. She sculpted it very very well, it's got loads of detail like the hinges here a little latch and some handles there as well. So if you want, you could just pick up the lid from the handles like that. This is printed out of a harder material than the rubber saws. So this isn't made of rubber. It's more of a harder resin. It's still got a little bit of give just for it to be a little bit more resilient and for it not to crack. So now we've had a look at the cage, let's move on to the compies themselves. So each pack comes with three compies. And all three of them have a rubber body. They're really bendy like this. And they feel really rubbery to the touch. The arms are rubbery too. The only thing that isn't made of rubber is the legs. Now, why are the legs made of resin? Well, we decided that uh, we didn't want them to bend when you tried to stand them. So we wanted to make the legs as stiff as possible so you can actually stand these guys. Now, I do recommend uh, heating the legs up a little bit when you get them because sometimes they can warp a little bit in the box. If you heat them the tiniest bit then you can bend them a little and then you'll be able to stand them. And as you can see this guy stands perfectly. I'll take some beauty shots later. Let's have a look at the others. And there we go. That one stands as well. Let's have a look at the last one. This one's got uh, the tail touching the ground as well, so and that's a little extra for it not to fall down. As you might have noticed, these guys come in three different poses. 
Because these aren't articulated, we decided to add three different poses in so you can choose which ones to display. Let's take a closer look at the paintwork. So they have been cast in a green and the top part has a darker green and the belly part is more of a yellow and with some hints of pink as well. The arms are more yellow and each claw has been painted as well. They're absolutely minuscule but they're packed with paint. There's some pink around the eye sockets and it has little black eyes too. And to top it all off, it has loads of tiny little stripes going from the head all the way to the tip of the tail. They all have the same paint job and they've all been painted really, really well and very precisely by Bradley. Now sculpt wise, I base these on the style guide that Dino Mike Mac and I have released and they're all in scale with all the rubber saws and even the Mattel figures. We decided to release compies because they don't really get enough love. All the figures that we've gotten of compies have always been a bit weird looking, especially the Hammond collection ones. The mainline ones aren't bad, but they're just one solid color, they're not really painted. And a little bit of the sculpt's a bit off, like the length of the neck and whatever, but they're really nice anyway, and they're in scale with uh, the human figures. But we decided to offer these as an alternative if you want a better looking, more screen accurate little model to go with your collector figures. Now let's try and fit these in the cage. So they're not designed to fit this way, although the, you can if you want, like that. They all fit like that too, but we thought it would be more fun to have their heads poking out from the bars like this. So that's one, that's two, and three. And then we can put the lid on the top. And there we go. They look like they're ready to be smuggled or taken away from their island and to be sold <laughs> on the black market. I really like that they're different poses as well because you can have them looking in different directions even inside of this little cage. It looks like that one's snapping at that one and that one's looking in the distance. Also, their tails poke out too, which is really cute. So these will be available as soon as this video premiere ends, as usual, but this time they won't be featured on my shop, they'll be featured on Bradley's shop. Just like what we did with the rubber saws accessories. Do not fret, I have put the link in the description to Bradley's shop. And please make sure you follow his shop and favorite it for all the latest releases and restocks. I'm so glad that I've partnered with Bradley because I get very overwhelmed making these things. In fact, I'm I'm still aiming to ship the Pachycephalosaurs in February, but um, I am a very anxious guy and I tend to not be as quick as I want to. So having another pair of hands working on these, it really does make a, a whole heck of a difference for me and my mental health. <laughs> Don't fret, you will get your Pachycephalosaur soon. I just, I'm just a little slow sometimes. Talking about the Pachycephalosaurs, we have decided to include a little collector card with your order. So the box will look like this. There's a little sleeve in there with a collector card, as well as your model and this nice looking box. So I really hope you um, like this video. If you like this product, you can go and get it on the shop. Again, as soon as this video premiere ends, and thanks so much for watching and supporting us and all the love that we put into the, these little things. Uh, we have plenty of rubber saws planned and I'll be doing a video soon, I think, on prototyping a rubber saw, a brand new one. So you can look forward to that. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.
I would like to give a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. Seriously guys, your support really does mean the world to me, as it helps me do what I love for you. You help me buy materials, and most of all, you give me a helping hand with improving the quality of the content of my videos. Even if it's just a small donation, every little helps.